Sound design. Yeah. So Pro Audio Workshop Scene Sound used to only have five modules, but last year I added a sixth module and it's called Bonus Tuning Walkthroughs. And it is exactly that. It's just a bonus. Once you complete module five, you're done with the course, you've done all the homework, you get the certificate. But I felt the need to add some step-by-step -step walkthroughs that really tie the whole thing together so that you can see me doing a system design and optimization in the field and see all the things that go wrong and how um, I react to those things. So far I've got four lessons here, but I plan to add more in the future as I come up with new things that I should share and do more walkthroughs. So I've got two House of Worship events, two corporate events, um, and each one of them, one's in a small room and one's in a big room. So let me just give you a quick overview of what I do in some of these videos. So you'll see here that I'm using a GoPro on my chest so that you have kind of a first person perspective of what some of these setups and optimizations look like. So here, here I am just going over the design and showing what the audience looks like and how I picked some microphone positions. Here we are setting up smart. Um, again, I think talking about subwoofer position. So then every once in a while I'll pause and do sort of a recap of some of the measurements that we did. And here it looks like I'm talking about the relationship between our mains and our subs. Here I think I'm doing, talking about vertical and horizontal aim. Looks like I've got some microphones on the, maybe the edges of the audience. I think we're talking about EQ here. Oh, here I'm showing how we set up our inline gradient subwoofer array. One in the front, one in the back. This way we have um, less low frequency energy on the stage and the band and more control out front. And here I'm verifying that array and looking at the front to back ratio. That is how much cancellation did we get in the rear? All right, let's take a look at the next one. This is another house of worship event, but in a much bigger space. Let me show you what that looks like. So here's that space. I can't remember 800,000 people, two arrays in the front two, uh, one single one in the back from a company called Macaulay that I had never worked with before. So here, let's see what's happening here. I've got my checklist here on the left. Oh, I'm learning how to use the Macaulay software here. Macaulay line array software. That was interesting. Talking about splay, talking about aim. Um, here's the design. And this is a great example of one where we had these measurements and we had this design. Then once we got in the room, everything changed a little bit. The uh, size of the stage, we thought there were going to be people over here in the left. Turns out there were no people. Um, this distance changed a little bit, so we just had to make some tweaks after we got in there. I go through building a horizontal subwoofer array with Merlin Van Veen subwoofer array designer. Okay, looking at smart, looks like we're looking at a relationship between mains and subs here. Looks like we start looking at some EQ. We did a pretty cool exercise with the EQ where we had some time to just do some tests. So we tried just EQing 100% with our ears, then we tried EQing 100% by just looking at the graph and then a combination of the two just to see what that's like and really find a good compromise uh, doing some listening and eye ear training. And I had to learn how to use the DBX drive rack venue, I think it was called. That's what we did all of our level delay and EQ with. And here, I think I'm just going over some microphone positions, going back over some things in smart and looking at some things on the console. Cool. I think that's it. Oh, with each of these, you'll be able to, of course, download the video, but then also I have more resources. Like you can download all the smart traces if you want to look at those on your computer. And with several of them, I also have uh, all the design materials. You can look at those. 
All right, so now getting into the two corporate events. Um, I think this is the biggest event that I have in there so far. Not the biggest in terms of people, but uh, the biggest in terms of space and most speakers. There's eight arrays here, a uh, stage in the center and um, tables and people all the way around it in the Min Minneapolis Convention Center. So here we're looking at the rigging. I had to learn a lot about Dante for this setup because it was a larger network that I'm used to. Uh, and here's our output controller. This is a BSS controller, learning how to use that. Okay, looking at some levels and EQ here, I think. You'll notice that this one is an hour. I think the other two are about 30, 45 minutes. So they're pretty long. Uh, you might have to watch it in sections. But this is another reason why there's only four of them right now is that each of these are very long and I try to go into a lot of detail about each step that I took in the design and the optimization process. Here you can see I'm getting into the EQ. I had a slightly different EQ for every array because this is one, also one of those very rare occasions when I think, I think we had almost a whole, no, we had a half of a day, so I think four hours to do the optimization process. So I had time to put microphones in front of every array and make slight modifications where necessary. Okay, using the BSS controller here. Oh, and in some of them, not all of them, because I wasn't the mixer on all of them. Sometimes I was just the system tech or something else. But in ones where I'm the mixer, I also try to show anything interesting that was happening in terms of the console or the routing and processing. So here I was using the CL5 and I show some of the ways that I did the routing there and EQ on some of the channels. Oh, and I got to, I'll show you a couple of these photos real quick. I got, oh, here I am uh, matching microphone sensitivities and I got to use the DPA 4091 on this show that I was reviewing. Um, and it was a really interesting process. It just has a slightly different response. It's kind of more of an instrument microphone. I guess that should be a whole other video. So I'll stop there. This one says it's a corporate event, but it's actually more of a concert event. Oh, I guess that's why it says corporate concert. Okay, small hotel room, ballroom, uh, stage here. Most of the show was a band playing. Uh, they had several artists come in from Nashville uh, and they brought their mixer with them. And so I was mainly the system tech on this show. Pretty simple system. We just had uh, left and right array up in the air, two subs on the ground. So here I am talking about the design of DB Composer. I think I compared it in Map XT. Oh, and here's one of the ones where you can download my show files, smart traces, and all the design files. And also learning how to use the DB Technologies network. So um, one of the cool things about their speakers is that it has all this processing on board. So you just plug in a network cable, run it to your computer, run the software, and you've got um, level, delay, and EQ with every speaker if you want it. Talking about some of the things I did inside of the X32 to prepare it for the band. The routing. Uh, talking about microphone placement, looking at some of the EQ changes that I did and the results. And this may look like a lot of work, but I was really happy that I took all these steps because the band basically showed up, the mixer just walked up onto the board, didn't change anything, didn't change anything with the system tuning and just started sound check. Like they really didn't have time to do much besides that. So I was glad I had it ready for them. Here's an example of the kind of uh, filters I was putting in for those DB technology speakers. So I think that's the last one. I'll go back to the top here. And again, I'll just say, I am looking forward to adding more lessons to this one. Um, I'm looking for more examples. So I've done two house of worship events, two corporate events. So I'm looking for different sizes, different um, pieces of equipment. I want to do more concert sound events. It would be cool to get some theater ones in here. So look forward to more expanding on this. Thanks for checking out module six and let me know if you have any questions about this. Sound design. Yeah.